Here are some best practices for ensuring that stack overflow is not a problem in your system. First, determine the worst case stack depth. Using Sentinels during program testing is a good start and will probably tell you if you have huge problems. But it is very difficult to observe the true worst case combination of subroutine calls, nested with operating system calls, nested with interrupt service routines, and their effect on stack depth during testing. Therefore, it's better if you can use a static analysis tool to do stack depth checking. Or, if need be, disassemble the code, build a call graph, including the OS and interrupts, and count up the worst case stack depth for yourself. When doing this analysis, make sure you find the actual worst case and add in a safety margin. In processors that have multiple levels of interrupt priority, you have to be careful to make sure you look at one interrupt from each priority level if they can be concurrently active and add all of them up to get the worst case depth. And don't forget that interrupt nesting might happen while you're in the middle of an operating system function that also uses a lot of stack. So make sure you think through the true worst case situation when putting together your picture of worst case stack depth. After you've done analysis, it's prudent to also protect your stack at runtime in case you miss something. It might also be that a later software change affects your maximum stack depth without you realizing it. So as a defensive measure, either enable your memory management unit to provide hardware protection or use stack sentinels at runtime. If you're using Sentinels at runtime, you should periodically do some sort of check to make sure that there are several Sentinels left so that you can take corrective action before your stack actually overflows. Even if you have an MMU, stack Sentinels can still be useful to give you a warning that there's a problem with your system that it's not behaving the way you expected. One general rule is to avoid the use of recursion. Many static analysis tools cannot predict maximum stack depth if you use recursion. Additionally, be mindful that big data structures can make the stack huge. So there might be times when you make a large data structure file static instead of local, just to make it easier to deal with stack size estimation and stack overflow protection.